Hi and welcome to another video from me, Chris here at DBG. So this is the last opportunity to enter into our giveaway. Um, after this video, I'll run a either a subscriber if I can find one that works. Been having a couple of trouble. A subscriber randomizer, and one of the subscribers will win. Um, I'll message them, give them a couple of days, and hopefully they'll respond. If they if they don't, then I'll basically go do it, rinse and repeat, basically. Um, hopefully someone will respond straight away. I've not had it so far that someone hasn't, so which is quite nice. It means that you know a lot of subscribers are active, so that's quite cool. Or at least just message, I might not watch. But <laughs> um, so let's leave it with that. But I'm going to do a product review on the last mat that I've ordered from Urban Mats. Um, lay it out, show it all for you and then have some scenery on there as well from Urban Mats and one of my armies to see what it truly looks like with everything laid out. Hope you like it. Let's get cracking. Let's open it up. So these are all 6x4 mats. This one is Urban District. Quite like Urban um, District from Urban Mats. Uh, this one I was really looking forward to actually. All of them I have been, and um, they've all surprised me in the level of detail they've got on there. Um, I think just the technology of being able to print has just massively increased with high definition on 4K and all that sort of stuff. Taking these amazing photos, well, also some of them not even photos, like actually doing it from scratch from computer art, it's just fascinating me, you know, that is, um, I don't count myself as an artist in any shape or form or with any artistic talent when it comes to to drawing and stuff, I mean, I can paint models, you know, I've come, um, my highest achievement is coming fifth once at uh, Golden Demon um, many, many years ago, and then I started working with Games Workshop and I never got anywhere close because we had to enter in the heavy metal, against the heavy metal team, which um, was never ever great, so you know when I was younger, yeah, it was alright, but I never got quite bad, and that that was my best, never done. Um, I was Inquisitor's Ranger, that's what I did. Loved it, absolutely loved that model. Um, but uh, I, I also actually weirdly, I am a trained dancer as well. I used to do ballet, tap, jazz, teach it as well, uh, and street and break is where the background is. So, so that's my art, um, but I don't really count myself as an artist, you know, doing stuff on, on this, drawing and things like that, I I, that's what I count as art. Um, I know it's not, and even coming from someone who's a dancer um, and a painter, um, I don't know, I think we all see our own talents as normality in a sense, because uh, I don't think in life we give ourselves credit for where it's due. I don't, definitely, I don't, I play myself down quite a lot. People like thinking, oh my god, you came fifth and golden demon. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't get anything. I didn't get a trophy or anything out of it. I didn't get a sword, um, which is what you're entering for. Um, but I think quite a lot of people went there into that thing so they can get early entry, let's be honest, as well. That's an achievement in itself these days. You can get up to the Forge Royal queue, which is what a lot of people run to when they go to Games Day. Oh, so, I was really looking forward to this because there's so many different colours, there's so many different angles. Um, it makes sense when I lay out, but a lot of the boards I see, or the mats I see, the like towns, they're all flat, so they're all like this one road, cross road, one road, cross road. So it's like almost like a New York style of blocking, um, which is fine. Um, I don't mind it. Uh, the problem is, it, it forces you to lay your scenery a certain way. You can't really turn your scenery in angle to sort of add different varieties of line blocking. Where this mat, it's all at an angle. So they've done the block and then shifted it like that, um, like a 45 degree. Um, which means your scenery goes in at an angle, which means it's really interesting for games, it just changes it so much. Your line of sight becomes um, more important. You know, you can't just run up 12 inches 
hide behind a big block. You've got to move your models accordingly, um, which I quite like. I, I I like that idea more, um, more and more of playing on those type of boards than the sort of flat boards. But this is the start of it. And you know, chunky. It's got roads. It's got perfect places for you to put your models in. Um, I'm looking forward to laying out. I'm gonna lay out on my board oh, on my table. Um, go from there, see what it's like, give a little bit of review, and then get some scenery out and lay that on there and have some models on there as well. Because then you get a true reflection of what it'll look like as a, as a as an actual game or a battlefield in a sense. Um, let's get it out. Let's see what it looks like rolled out. Okay, so here is the urban district. Now, when I saw in the photos, there was loads of clear colours and stuff like that, and I'm really, really, really pleasantly just pleased with this. Look at the detail on this red, all the cracks and the pavings and things like that. And you can imagine some urban structure being there. It's all broken down. The fans over here. There's so much detail on this map. Little cracks in there. The bit they're missing, I don't really like this. Just the fan structure there, you know, so you could put a building here. Right next to that, it still adds that element. Rusty part there. And the other side. There's a nice clear spacing as well. And you see what I mean by it? it's all an angle. You know. So the fact is, it forces your scenery to be at that angle. And just at the end of this one is just more road carrying on. Oh, this by far is my favourite map. And even though I <laughs> randomly picked them, these sort of videos and didn't know what they were, um, I really like that I ended up in this one. So if you did want a chance of winning this map or any of the others, make sure you subscribe. Um, don't have to do anything else, but I appreciate it if you share you know, the videos or share the photos for our Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that, or tag your friends in. Um, even more chance, you know, for them to win one means you're going to get the advantage of being able to use one as well, you know, if you don't win it yourself. But let's get some scenery on this board. I really want to use some uh, sci-fi set. I think we might really cool on here. Um, get that on here. Get an army on here. Don't know what army might suit on here, um, but I'll get one. Um, just see a really contrast and what it look like. Oh, I'm really impressed with like that red. That red just makes this match just ping up. Just a little detail. You don't need much more. You don't. You don't need loads of it. Um, and that's what I like about it, they've done loads of little touches on here. You can just see all the great vents in there, you know. Little rocks on the path and things like that there. Perfect, love this map. Um, it's cool. Let's get some scenery on here and let's see what it truly looks like. If it all out and looking at Splendor Glory and what it could be on your table too. Hello, right, so this is the Urban Mat. All with terrain up, and with two of my armies on as well. Um, probably a bit of a classic of Deathwing and Ravenwing versus a demon army supported with three soul grinders as a heavy supports and a super heavy in the form of a great brass scorpion from Forge Rod. Absolutely love this model. Um, have done a review on it before. Got a skeleton there. And its base is the broken down rhino crater. Didn't quite go with this board, but would go well with that desert Mars planet board. Um, so that's what I based all my chaos army on. But so it's the only sort of base I wanted to wanted to use for it because it doesn't quite fit on just a normal plane base. I wanted to make it quite dynamic. Um, we've got some quite nice conversions on here as well. Got a Sineshi Lord on its own steed, which is using the old 
um, Sineshi Fantasy Lord that was metal. Contingency of Raven Wing. Turn around. Got some Ian Princes in the middle. Got one that I've got caught on just to. Got a double wax on him. Some little bits made up. He's heading in some a whole heap of trouble. Um, with Mark, with some Deathwing, with a chaplain in there, supported by a character. No chaplains in Talonet Armour can't have the plasma, but this used to be the old oh, relic um, in 7th, or you know, the Lion's Roar plasma pistol is like a plasma gun. And there's a Terminator agent in there as well. Over here where some more faster speed is coming around. There's some knights. Librarian there. Nice simple conversion. And I did just adding it onto a pre-existing bike. Uh, very similar to the chaplain as well. Just changing it into a robed marine. Just changing the hand weapon really. That was it. Octopi got on there with plasma talents. Which I do really like. And the ancient as well. I really like the flak that they got the detail in there. I mean knights are amazing. I think too too heavily pointed myself. Um but you know they have got fire plasma basically on, on board. I do like my soul grinders. I really wanted a uh, in seventh. I ran a completely mixed demon army, so to represent a warp opening up, but for no favored god. So I did like three of everything. So I specialized with Sinesh being the steeds for the speed, corn. I specialized in the heavy hitting, um, and Sinesh with the wizards and sorcerers and all that sort of stuff. Not Sinesh, Sinch. Sorry. And Nurgle with the troops and the slow moving sort of vehicles and stuff like that. Um, so that was my theme. It doesn't really work in 8th because you've got to have to get the true bonus or the formations now. You've got to have all of the same, which I still can, but not in the ideal way. It is an army I definitely want to expand on. Uh, these are my knights and old Samuel They're back there as well. He was nice, chosen sort of. I prefer him on this and actually being in the land, land speeder. And then my version of, oh, chapter master of a raven wing, not raven wing, death wing. Just a really simple version that was off the Sineshi, not Sineshi, well, words all going all over the place. The old Dark Millennium box. Oh, dark Millennium? Dark. Ethereum, whatever, the old box set where you had the Dark Angels and the Chaos in. So this is one of the Terminates from there. Found a robe, put it on it. Put a nice banner on. Some ex excess bits that I got from these guys on. And there you go, there's my my character. I don't have to spend, you know, excess of 15 quid. Uh, I just had a spare Terminator. I really like how he turned out, actually. He's just something unique. But that is it, that is that urban map. See how those knights do about the brass scorpion. Brass scorpion, if they fail the church, then brass scorpion's def definitely got them, I think. They could hold out three person vulnerable saves, but pretty scar scorpion's pretty good. But yeah, tell me what you think of this. I really like this map. There's so much detail, and this is straight on. So, you know, when I said about how I really like it because it's angled and all the roads are slightly off. An angle. This is the type of buildings that would go on it crazily, but also the angles that it creates. It doesn't create the straight lines, you know, so you're just going 12 on. Actually, you're going to find that your army moves in a completely different way just to get around the board, um, which I think has plays a lot more interesting, um, but also um, teaches you to be more, more tactical. There's so many games and so many boards, I just see all the scenery up one side. Up one side and then scatter in the middle, almost like a no man's land. Um, it's just really boring because people just stand and shoot, and there's not really anyone doing a push or an advance. Um, where this type of scenery allows you to be tactical. It's good line blocking. You can hide. I mean, you can even see perfect thing, perfect example. 
it's a soul grinder. If you're on this side, if you're here, you can't see you. You know, that's a big model. <laughs> you know, and that's how it's true stuff for these buildings as well. So, yeah. Let's do a wrap up. Let's see what it's really like. I really, I'm really impressed. So that is our board. All set up, all lovely. Now I'm really impressed with this map. Um, I think my two favourite are probably Dirty Roads and this. That uh, tends to complement the scenery that I've got, but also the more armies that I've got fit with the boards as well. Um, I need to make one that's more rogue based. So I think to fit in with this board. I've only got my nids, I think. Um, but actually really really impressed with this unfortunately if you're watching this video you missed your opportunity to win um, one of these mats this is the fourth uh, and final mat of the review of all the mats that I bought the winner will um, be notified and I'll do a winner give or giveaway and tell you what they've won and if they get hold of me in time then I will do what they chose as well and see what your feelings are on that and what map you would have taken. Would have been interesting now with all four maps from the desert, dirty roads, the swamp and the urban map. Which map would you choose? Which map would you make the most use of? Which map would you have chose if you won? Um, a bit delay getting this out just because loads of things going on but I really just wanted to show you it um, anyway and this is one of the maps that someone could have won. So be really interested in know your thoughts so make sure you sub subscribe all of that sort of jazz if you haven't subbed um, already and you're only just subbing unfortunately you did miss out on the competition but there is the massive Christmas work, give Christmas giveaway coming so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button because then you're gonna get all the notifications and stuff when we do all the videos so we're gonna do a almost a show and tell sort of videos on the giveaways so they're going to be loads of products each product is going to have its own uh, video and you can enter in multiple times per multiple videos and one person um, at a moment we might do one two three I'm not too sure it depends how big we want to make the giveaway um, and it depends what you think actually do you think we should do a one two three giveaway or just one massive one winner winner takes all type of giveaway um, but the idea is there's multiple videos you can enter in multiple times on each video and you're going to draw and one person or maybe three depending on what you guys think actually um, wins all the giveaways so that's how we're going to do it but this has been a fantastic map from Urban Mats I really like it, Urban Mats ending with their so called map called Urban so wherever you are in the world make sure it's a good one and happy hopping <laughs>